All right, a couple of things. I know uh, the defense was in the process, I think, of making a, uh, expressing a concern or an objection to counsel's argument, belittling the defense. Is that what I correctly, no, I correctly perceive that objection? No. I think we dealt with it sufficiently during the objections during the rebuttal. So there will be no additional instruction in that regard. I do, I do believe that it constitutes prosecutor, prosecutorial misconduct and is potentially basis for grounds for a mistrial. Okay, I, that, I think the use of the word nonsense uh, is what you're talking about originally? Originally, Your Honor, but then in rebuttal there were repeated, repeated comments about how we were, and implications that we were, um, that we were shading was one example, that we were creating Halloween stories was another example, that these were stories and, and that was a repeated comment um, stated that we misrepresented facts and put words into Dr. Baker's mouth, uh, that we made several statements that they put forth as stories. Uh, after the court instructed uh, him to use the, stop using the word stories, he clarified that it's just fabricated facts. Uh, and so there were multiple references to that, um, that we were shading the truth, right? I mean, and again, so multiple objections. This is uh, essentially uh, governed by uh, State versus McDaniel. And the final argument to the jury of prosecutor is governed by a unique set of rules which differ significantly from those governing counsel in civil suits and even those governing defense counsel in the very same criminal trial. These special rules follow directly from the prosecutor's inherently unique role in the criminal justice system justice system which mandates that the prosecutor not act as a zealous advocate for criminal punishment but as the representative of the people in an effort to, to uh, seek justice. For example, that when a prosecutor argues that a defense is meritless, she cannot belittle the defense either in the abstract or suggesting that the defense was raised because it was the only defense that would succeed. So, so there's lots of law in this, Your Honor, um, and essentially it con the, these comments, the repeated con uh, Comments um, constitute prosecutorial misconduct. I'll note for the record that I overruled the first objection when Mr. Blackwell used the word story because it was isolated and in its context it did not seem to me to be belittling. However, the continued use of it, I did sustain the ultimate objection that counsel made to the use of the word stories and instructed the jury to disregard it. Also on shading the truth uh, that I sustained the objection and instructed the jury to disregard it. I'm not making any findings as to whether it was the type of prosecutorial misconduct that would result in a mistrial. I think it was adequately addressed by the court's instruction to disregard. All right.